This is a very basic level, so have no fears. You are in good hands, my friend. So the feet are right under your hips. Your toes are facing to the top of your mat or blanket or facing some direction that is straightforward. Roll the shoulders back and down. Open up your fingers. So I'll face you so you can see what I'm telling you about. So fingers towards the floor, spread them out. And we just breathe. I see we have comments that I should have. Hey girl, oh Kirsten, I'll get back with you at the end, I'm for sure. I'm just too far away from my camera to do that right now. So we're breathing in through our nose. And on an exhale, we take our navel center back towards the spine. So if you see me from a side profile, I expand my stomach with an inhale. It's like a pregnant belly. And then exhale, belly button comes in towards the spine. So breathing in, we expand the stomach. And an exhale draws the navel center in. Going to really exaggerate. Inhale, big belly, exhale, navel comes up and in. So, so in our yoga practice, it's not about finding the perfect pose. It's not about looking like the other yogis out there. It's not looking like me on Instagram. It's about being yourself, being you in your yoga. So it's all about finding what feels good and coming to your breath. I was talking with my hands on Italian, mama bingo. So just find your own breath for Pete's sake. So breathe in, expand your stomach, and exhale. Let that navel center draw inward. And this is a practice thing. Most people, 90%, do not breathe like this. Have no fear, it is normal to not naturally be able to breathe this way. It takes practice and effort. And all we can really do is change our attitude and our effort with our breathing. So be gentle, be graceful with yourself. Let, a, let, let go of anything around, let go of any tasks of your day and just be right here with your breathing, that breath in and that breath out. No judgment, no expectations. We shed all that away and just be right here, right now, present. Inhale and exhale. So next, inhale, we sweep the arms overhead, big circle, touch the palms overhead, and then exhale, bring the hands down to heart center, thumbs to the heart. So an inhale is a sweep overhead, and an exhale, we bring prayer hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, prayer hands, find heart center. One movement, one breath, synchronize the exhale with the arms, inhale, overhead. Just moving fully through into the shoulders. You can make this speed of the arm movement, the breath, whatever speed you'd like. Have permission to be yourself here. So many times in school and in our society, we're told how we need to go, what we need to do for Pete's sake. My word of the day, just do what you want to freaking do, man. Find the breath speed, the pace that you want. And it's always your yoga. We'll meet with prayer hands to heart center. So at any time, you can come to this mountain pose. Know that about yoga, any yoga class, not just mine, any. And inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, press the palms away, flat back until we get to about hip height. Then start to round the spine towards the floor, drop the fingers towards the mat. Release the crown of your head to the floor in a forward fold. The knees, notice, are not hyperlocked. I keep them slightly bent. It takes practice to be able to achieve such ability to keep bent knees, so be graceful. No matter where you are in your yoga journey, just breathe here and forward fold. Your fingers might not touch the floor. That's okay. No gold stickers anyway. And an inhale. Let's come up into a monkey where we pull the fingers up our shins. Press the palms of the hands into those shin bones. Crown reaches forward. Our tailbone reaches back. 
plug the shoulders in and breathe up and down the hamstrings. And we'll move through this flow. It's an exhale to come back to our forward fold, releasing the crown towards the floor. And inhale, sweep overhead. Exhale, swan dive. That forward fold straight back and then round after hip height. Inhale up halfway, funky flat back. Exhale, dropping into a forward fold. Release the crown, the shoulders. Inhale, sweep. One more set, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, monkey, flat back. Reach forward with the crown, tailbone back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep. And exhale, back into mountain pose. Very swell, awesome deal. So this time, let's add a back bend. Inhale, reach high. We'll take those fingers back, press the hips forward. Inhale, lift. And on an exhale, swan dive. Forward fold this time. Stay here in our forward fold for a few breaths. Releasing upper, middle, and low back. Deep full belly breath in. We feel the belly as we inhale. Press the hands into the floor. We're stepping that right foot back. And then the left foot in a downward facing dog. Yes, the most iconic yoga pose. If you're watching this simply for entertainment purposes, you shall be entertained as well, viewer. <laughs> Let's look between the feet. Press the chest towards the thighs. Big starfish hands. So we, so we have like those starfish fingers spread out. We also have Spider-Man fingertips. Yo. So we're clawing the hands into the floor, engaging more hand muscles. Something interesting we learn in yoga is hand strength, finger strength, as well as the feet the foot strength and we're still breathing in down dog this is a beginner pose first time yogi you might not believe me and that is okay this is a resting pose so if you need to rest anytime in your practice come to this downward dog yo and for more rest let's take those knees down to the floor touch the big toes and sink the hips back drop the head to the floor we allow the forehead to rest on the mat or the carpet or the bed, wherever you are. If this is a lot of strain on your back, you can stack your fists, place the forehead on stacked fists, and be in your child's pose in this way. We breathe in through the nose, and it's a big breath out. Big inhale. And a deep exhale. Big breath in, deep exhale. Once again, here you feel the belly as it breathes against the thighs. Deep inhale, and it's a deep pushing of the exhale out. Deflate those lungs. One more breath here. And exhale, release the hands out. Come to hands and knees and move in another iconic yoga flow. It's called cat cow. We round the spine, bring the belly button up, drop the tailbone and the crown towards the floor, arch the back. Keep the elbows nice and soft here. We breathe, my friend. <laughs> Inhale, drop the belly, crown and tailbone lift. Cow pose, keep the elbows plenty soft. We're imagining we had this kettlebell weight that you can't see sitting right there. <laughs> Pretend that kettlebell is setting on your back and your back is weighted down by the, the heaviness of said kettlebell. And then imagine all of a sudden it's gone and we round the spine back into cat, articulating our movement to fully arch. Inhale, drop the belly, drop chest and we lift the crown the tailbone even the heart is lifting here we look up with the eyes cow pose exhale rounding cat move with your breath inhale cow. articulating this movement find your find your back here don't look at what my cat cow looks like feel your own spine feel the separation of each vertebrae 
really no right or wrong way to look as long as you feel the movement feel feel your spine so often our spine is just hanging out with us that little to at least my past self's knowledge i didn't realize i could actually move my back in such ways until i was introduced to a cat cow flow and practiced it a lot Exhale, round to the back. Inhale, drop the belly. Let's do two more flows. Really exaggerate your breath. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Hold and then exhale, cat. Inhale to cow. Coming to a neutral spine. Very good, very good. Left foot steps between the hands, low modified lunge. We line up the toenails and the fingernails across this line. Tuck our back toes if you'd like, or keep the right knee down. You know, listen to your body here. Sink the hips forward and down. This is a low lunge. Press the hands into the floor. Slide the hips back, slide the heel back. Downward facing dog. Press the heels one at a time into the floor. Head hangs between the arms, and we're breathing a lot. Awesome, awesome. Left knee comes down, right foot steps through between the hands. We're in a modified lunge. Tuck the left toes and lift the left knee if you feel like a full runner's lunge is in your practice on this first day of Sanyaka Challenge. Long spine, down forward, press through the heel or the knee if it's down. Bring the left knee. Down, we'll step the right foot back, press the hands into the floor, downward dog. We're moving through a quick half sun salutation because they're awesome. It's a plank, just a regular plank, guys. Press the chest up and away from the floor, big starfish hands. We lower and hover over the mat, crocodile. Exhale, release the chest to the floor, untuck your toes, press through the hands to lift the crown, squeeze the glutes. Lift the heart, shoulders, sink away from our ears. Nice back bend here. Keep them elbow soft. I see there's a bunch of comments. I'll get to you guys as soon as I'm done. Deep breathing. Big, deep detoxifying breath. And then exhale sets us back in our child's pose. The knees are wide, the big toes are touching. Sink the belly between the thighs, forehead rests on the floor. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And you can stay here for as long as you'd like. Do two more breaths or stay here in child's pose. I'm gonna wrap it up guys because yeah, I'm doing another yoga class later. And I just really hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in seven days of yoga for your own life, for your own accountability, for your own consistency in your inconsistent day, check out this yoga challenge that I'm doing. Just um, use the hashtag seven days and yoga challenge to hold yourself accountable, one, to the internet, something we do. Building habits aren't always the easiest things, but if we have friends and accountability buddies, they're a heck of a lot better and easier to do. And if you need additional support, I have a group on Facebook and I would love to have you there with all the other yogis.